Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Everyday Joy Podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. I am so excited for you to hear today's guest. She has never been on the Everyday Joy Podcast before, but she is going to dive into our words to live by today, and I hope that you enjoy unpacking the Word of God. Let's jump into today's words to live by. Romans 8, 28, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. I have one of my favorite people in the world <laughs> here in the studio with me today, Luce. Hi. Welcome to the Everyday Joy podcast. This is so exciting. And it's weird to be on the other side I of the know. mic. It's really nice. It's nice as a broadcaster who's normally having to run the show to not have to. Yeah. It's really nice mentally just yeah. to sit back and go, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for the ride. Yes, I feel like that. <laughs> so cool. Now, Luce, give us a quick recap. So people yep. may or may not know your story, mm -hmm. what you've done here at The Light, yep. but how long have you been here? What's your story? How did you get yep. into broadcasting? It's oh, a long, long give story. Us, give us the short the version. The short, <laughs> tiny version is I have been a radio broadcaster for 16 years uh, here in Melbourne at 89.9 The Light, uh, which has been incredible. I've been the brekkie show for that entire time, doing 4.30 starts for 16 Crazy. years. And I love it. And it makes me the longest serving Christian broadcaster in the country at the moment. I think definitely for females and maybe up there with, it might be a uh, out of everyone, which is crazy. That is insane. Because I still feel like, how, how did I get here? I <laughs> the weirdest thing for me is that like, and this is going to be so bad, but I grew up, <laughs> grew listening, up listening to, to you me. I know. on the radio. <laughs> and as a kid, it was like, we can only listen to the light. That's the only station you can turn on. So it's so crazy uh, to sit here with you today and not only get to chat with you mm. through this scripture, but I don't know, Luce, you've been such an incredible, you've just championed me from the moment I've known you. So I'm really grateful. I'm your biggest fan. Oh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be here with you. I'm like, I just think you are just the most oh, shining little best kept secret light that I'm so excited that people are discovering now oh. because your faith is just so evident in the workplace every single day. And if anyone knows me, they know I don't like fake. Mm. I like real. I like messy. I just like authenticity and you just are all those things. You're not messy though. I'm the messy one. Oh, but you're I can just <laughs> you're just so very real, and I just respect that when Thanks, it comes Luce. to people's faith. Mm. I don't like I don't like masks, and I like people pretending they got it all together. And I just see for you just this heart after truth, and this heart after mm. Jesus. And I, as this older woman, I'm like, oh, that inspires me. Oh, you know, to see fresh young people mm. just going for it. Yeah. Because <laughs> one sometimes when you're our age, you can get a bit tired, and totally. you can just kind of like, you know, ride in on every day and your faith is your faith and I love seeing young people just go let's figure this out so it's exciting so, to be here so good. oh thanks Luce that's so encouraging good, good, good. and but you know it honestly links right to our verse today because yes. you know like you said when you go through life when you get through that point sometimes when you're you've been in your faith for years and yes. years you've been through the ups you've been yep. through the downs I think this scripture even for me when I reflect on my life God does work all things out for good. Yeah. You know, like yeah. no matter what yeah. happens, no matter where life goes, no matter how terrible it is at some point, yes. I know that I know that God will work it out for yeah, good. Very much so. And I love that. What I love about this verse is that says all things, mm. not some things, mm -hmm. not God will figure out a few of the things and make them okay. Yeah. He's like, all things. I yeah. got you. I got all your bad stuff. Because this is what this is about, right? Like mm. the good things have already worked themselves out yeah. for good. <laughs> so this is pretty much saying all the mess you're walking through, if you are willing to see it from a different perspective mm. and wait and be patient, God will change that into something absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think... I have held on to this verse in my own life in so many different ways. Like when I think back years ago uh, when I was struggling to have a baby mm. and I battled infertility for many years. Wow. And, you know, that time of great pain, uh, it brought out something beautiful in my character over time. Um, and I know, look, the, my journey is, is different to everyone's journey. Some people don't end up with the child. Mm. Uh, I ended up having a miracle baby, which has been an incredible blessing. But that all came out to good in the end. And yeah. I remember those times where I was lying on the floor sobbing, going, why have you forsaken me? Mm. What have I done? Why won't you give me a child? Mm. I've been nothing but faithful. You know, just yelling and ranting and yeah. raving at God. And I knew he was big enough to carry all, yeah. that, all that hurt. 
But I look back now and I've got this incredible daughter and the timing was right for me to have her when I had her. Mm. That all worked out well. And then even I look back over and I've spoken about this a lot on air, um, you know, going through a really painful divorce, especially mm. really publicly as a yeah. Christian radio host was really unfun. Mm. Oh, of <laughs> and, and the hardest thing I think I've gone through and at those times going, what is my life going to look like? Mm. And wondering, would I ever be happy again? And I mm. had terrible depression. I had terrible anxiety. I still suffer from anxiety. Mm. I was quite suicidal for a long time. Wow. And I remember thinking, this is it. Like, this is your life now. Mm. If you can cope with it, um, this is it. This is the sadness. Yeah, it's wow. all encompassing. And, and, and I did always hold on to hope. I was like, you know what? I used to say to people all the time, you know, God doesn't have a plan uh, B. He has a different plan A. He's got lots of plan A's for you. And if it's not that plan A, do you know what? I've got another plan A. Yeah. And I used to say that to people and it was really hard to say it to myself in those yeah. moments. But I did always believe, just hang on. God has never let you down. Um, he is big enough to carry this awful moment. He's big enough to carry this depression. Just hold on. Just hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on to another day. Sometimes hold on for another hour mm. and now coming through that I'm remarried I have an incredible blended family yeah. I married the most extraordinary man my ch my daughter is thriving my blended children are thriving a whole unit is thriving and, and we just have this joyous new life and I'm like oh god worked out everything for mm -hmm. good and whilst in the midst of it I kept thinking this is terrible yeah you know, he had a different plan A and I trusted him and, and and I now have this joyful life because I just was patient through the process mm. of him working it out. You even you even said it maybe at the end of like near Christmas, you were like, God is so good. Mm. And to and hearing you say that with such a like a truth yeah. and such a understanding, yeah. it's exactly what this this verse is about, mm. you know. It shows us that God is good, yeah. even when our circumstance doesn't yeah. reflect it at the time, even yeah. when we don't understand, you know. I don't think anyone listening wouldn't have been in a circumstance or a scenario where they have cried out to God and said, God, I don't get it. Yeah. Like, I don't understand totally. why. And those moments can be so difficult. Yeah. Because like you said, in that moment, it's not always the joy and the and the and you don't have the hindsight of what God will do. Yeah. But I think what this verse is saying is like you said, hold on. Yeah. Like hold on hold to on. the promise that mm -hmm. God will work it out. Yeah. And, and one of the great things about this verse and, and I guess in the context of this verse is, you know, the reason that we can hold on is because God is good and He has saved us yeah. and He is faithful to his promises right. and it releases us from the burden yeah. of carrying yeah. the circumstances and the scenarios that we are facing yeah. because when we can actually let it go which can be so hard yeah. but when we do I find that that's when we're able to see his faithfulness yeah. the most 100% this this whole verse hinges on the fact that God is working and I love that like he says God is working not he's done it already yesterday he's working it's a process he's getting things in line but for him to be working we also need to be working as well working on our faith working on ourselves and also changing our perspective so when things are bad to not just go well I'm just it's all done I mean we can have moments of that and that's we okay totally do. and I have moments of that every three hours of my life <laughs> but to always try and come back and go no hang on wait I'm going to choose to see some good I'm going to choose to believe that maybe in a week I'll see some good or I'm going to choose that maybe in a year I'll look back and go oh I get it mm. but it's going to take us choosing to do that we've yeah. got to be active if God's being active in the working of it then we have to be active and partner with him it can't all be on him right it's like so he, he can't steer a ship that is not moving mm. you've got to move with him and let yeah. him steer you totally mm. it reminds me there's this scripture and I'm sure everyone's heard it but it's just that scripture that says the Lord is a lamp to my feet and the light yeah. to my path That's and right. that has been something that I've held on to so much over the last you know five years or so because we're not always going to know where God's taking us yeah. but he will guide our steps That's and right. he will guide us you know if we're seeking him if we're if we're seeking out his purpose and his plan for us yeah. we actually can't go wrong yeah. you That's know right. when you trust what God yeah. is doing he doesn't make mistakes yeah. he hasn't made a mistake in you Luce yeah. he hasn't made a mistake in me he hasn't yeah. made a mistake in anyone listening mm -hmm. there is a plan and a purpose and it is meticulously planned out for our lives yeah. and that is such a breath of fresh air yes 
we don't have to be in control. Yep. Because God will work it out. Yeah, you just gotta you just along for the journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also just keep holding on to that hope the whole time that is it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. If it's and if it's not good at the moment, then God's not done. That's another verse I well, it's a song we play on the light that I love. If it's not good, then it's not done. Yeah. And he's not done with it yet. So just hold on because the goodness is coming. And I always say I say this to a lot of women, because a lot of ladies reach out to me behind the scenes about marriages failing and things like that. And I'm like, you know what? It is all always darkest just before the dawn so just hold on because god is going to do a great thing but you've just got to you've just got to wait for the sun to rise and it will because it always does because god is faithful to his promises Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. I hope that today has left your heart encouraged, no matter what season you're walking through, to know that God has you, that God is in control in the tough seasons, in the great seasons, in the empty seasons. Our God is for us. I cannot wait to keep unpacking the Word of God with you tomorrow, but until then, I hope you're able to find moments of joy.